I have visited with vets across the state who thought Congressman Zinke would do a better job, and he hasn't. He's spoken to them in small groups and said that you know, they shouldn't become dependent on the government when he accepts disability payments every month himself. Those are the type of hypocritical kind of actions that we need to get over. Here now to react is Montana Republican Congressman Brian Zinke. He's in our nation's capital. Good morning, Congressman. Great to be here with you, Steve. It's good to have you as well. Congressman, uh, what did you make of her bringing up your disability right there? That you get a you know, I've been shot at before. I can tell you, we need more veterans in Congress. Uh, you look at where we're supporting Brian Mast uh, and others. The you know, veteran voice matters. You know, veterans aren't aren't numbers or faces. And every veteran has a has a military record. And looking at veterans, you know, we're solution minded. Red, white, blue, vice red or, or blue. So I think it's important to have a, a larger veteran voice in Congress. It's good to have a vet voice. Sure, absolutely right. Here is where your opponent, uh, Denise Juno, who is 49 and is the state's two-term superintendent of public instruction. Here she is attacking your ambitions. She said. It seems like he, that's you, Congressman, always has his eye on whatever is coming up next for Mr. Zinke and not really on what's happening here in our state. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, because she's making it sound like you're an opportunist or you're very ambitious and you're just looking at the next thing down the road. You know, Montana has one congressman. And I can tell you, my voice has to be louder than 55 from California. Yeah, so standing strong on issues that matter to Montana and America, I think is an important part. You know, leadership, I think I'm rated number one uh, in the House as far as the freshmen go, working with the Senate to get things done. And again, I think that comes from the, the veteran background, uh, being a commander mm -hmm. of troops and, and willing to put yourself on the line. And look, uh, you know, we live in a great country. And I'm an optimist. I wouldn't do the job if I didn't think it was fixable in Washington, D.C. We just need to get at it. Um, she is the, as I mentioned a moment ago, superintendent of public instruction, essentially top educator in the state. How, how uh, are the stats for Montana right now and their school kids? Well, the graduation rates are up. The test scores are down. Uh, about 50% of the kids graduating high school are not proficient in basic math. Uh, in, in English, you know, that's a problem. You know, Montana is a big state uh, as far as size goes, population. We have a lot of challenges in rural schools. Uh, you know, she brought Common Core to Montana and the Republican Congress uh, undid it. All right. So okay. I think she has a challenge. Uh, and you do as well. And there are these allegations out there and, you know, some of this mudslinging. We just wanted to get you on to respond. Well, you know, I've been shot at before. And, uh, you know, Washington, D.C., I guess sure. if you're in politics, you, you have to get used to it. You know, wear, wear thick body armor and uh, don't stay in one spot. There you go. Good idea. Congressman, thank you very much. Thanks. Great to be with you. All right.